And we knew that in their practice games, they'd already made 200 in their practice games. And, you know, knowing the wicket when we come here, it's always the same. Some grass on it. It's hard work for the bowlers. You get smashed a bit. But uh, if you can limit the damage and try and keep it to 180 or less, uh, I think you've done pretty well here. But having said that, I thought our last five, they look like they're going to make 220, 230 after that start. And then I thought we clawed it back pretty well. Um, they had one or two good overs. They had one good over off me where they, Sean Marsh got me off for however many lots. But after that, most of it was pretty good. There was a, you know, I thought we fought back really well and we wrestled some momentum. When it was our turn to bat, I thought we went in with the momentum. And we just got off to a horror start again, those first six overs. It was just, that's been our, bit of our weakness is the first six overs. Um, and obviously we need our, you know, our big plays and to score some runs. And hopefully we can do that in the next game. We've been on the road now for a week. We've meant to play four games. Um, three games, sorry, in six days or whatever it's been. So not easy. We had a washout in Bangalore. But, you know, we made 150 and played poorly. It just shows you what sort of... We only fell 40 short and we played poorly. After four, uh, four for 66 off 10. So the next 10 overs, we got 90 runs quite easily. So, you know, I, I, I thought, um, you know, it just... You know, what, they could have been two for five. Two no balls, two wickets, Pavel Tardy and Gilchrist. Gets Sean Martian in the first over. It's a different when he's facing Tate and it's in the new ball. It's completely different. So that... You, know, you just can't bowl no balls in a game like that, and their best players were in form to give them a second chance. You know, that's, it was sort of an unlucky but lucky start, if that makes sense. You know, it was unlucky for us, but lucky for them. Uh, and then so they get a, both get a free hit, they hit a boundary, and they get their confidence up and away they go, and after that they played well. Then Sean Marsh played beautifully. It showed you why, you know, he really should be in the Australian team. He's such a wonderful striker of the ball. Do you think, uh, you know, after a couple of uh, very good performances, no, I thought Maneria, I thought Binny, I thought Rout played really well today. Um, you know, what you need in this game is experience and the youngsters, you know. So we need Dravid, Watson, Taylor, one of those guys to be batting with the younger player. You know, if they can chip in and get their 30s and 40s and then the, the big players get some big scores and big runs, then, um, you know, we're going to be tough to beat. Next, please. Mm. Yeah, you know, he, he, I've said for a long time that you know I think he's a wonderful player. Uh, I'm surprised he's not in the Australian side, at least in the one-day team. Uh, I just think the way he plays up the top of the order, he plays beautifully. Um, I'm think I'm sure you're going to see guys like Sean Marsh and Callum Ferguson and those two guys in the Australian team pretty shortly. I mean, they've had a little bit of a go, but uh, hopefully they get an extended run. He's a good player. Uh, yeah, look, I suppose, as I said before, you know, he, I think he's a good player and I'm sure you're going to see him in the Australian side. Yeah, it does, but I mean, that's modern day cricket, isn't it? You, you, you're always on the road, you're, always, you're playing travel, play travel, that's just the way it is. And now I think every team has that sort of week to eight days where they've got to play a lot of cricket. Uh, we go back to Jaipur now and I think we've got um, 10 days. I think we've got three games in 10 days all at home. So, you know, we need to, we need to win all three of them to get back in. So after that, this next week or so, 10 days, we've played nine games. We've only got five left after that. You know, in, in three weeks, we've only got five games. So, um, you know, it's a, it's, a big, it's a big 10 days for us. We won't have any um, shot at the finals. In these next three games at home, we play, you know, I think, Nine out of 12, right? Nine out of 12, I think it is at home. So we're pretty tough to beat at home, but we've got some tough teams. I think we play uh, Pune, Mumbai, and who's the third one? Is it Kochi? Is it Kochi the third one? So, you know, they're tough sides too. There's no easy games in the IPL. And the one thing about it, as we've seen, I think anyone can beat anyone this year. Normally you'd say, oh, these two teams are standout teams, and the rest, you know, there's a couple of bad sides, and then the rest are all fighting for two spots. But I think what we've seen so far in this competition is that anyone can beat anyone. So, you know, but for us, the next 10 days are pretty important. Oh, every game there's some pressure on, but for us now when we've lost three and a washout, 
Um, you know, on the road, we've, we haven't won a game on the road, which has been disappointing. We, we, had a, we got a point from a washout, but we didn't win a game on the road. And we lost our last home game. So, yeah, look, there's some work for us to do. I think it, both in the first six with the bowling and uh, the first six in the, um, in the batting is where we've got to work it out. I think we're bowling pretty well. You know, I had a bit of an off day today, but I bowled pretty well through the tournament. Uh, I thought Sean Tate's bowled pretty well. Uh, Sid Gervetti had an off day as well today. And he, he doesn't have too many off days. He's generally pretty good. So, and on that wicket, it's going to happen. And that's 2020. One, one or two games for the tournament, you're going to get smashed. That's just the way it is. Um, but for us, you know, we've got to really work with the first six overs with our batting. We've got to work out what the right combination is up there. And the first six overs with our bowling, we've got to get that right too. Last question. Well, I think the thing with Shane Watson, he, he's such a good player. You want him to bat as many balls as possible. But in the makeup of our side, if we can get off to a flyer, a really good start, and then have Watson, and then have Ross Taylor and Maneri all in the middle, that makes sense. So just got to work out what works best for the team. You know, obviously I want Shane Watson to open, but what's best for our team might be better at number three. That's just something I suppose we work out. Here you go. Please, please. Go and shoot, mate. No, that, that's what I just said. You know, ideally we want him to open. You know, that's where he, he likes opening and he likes playing there. But it's what's best for the team. You know, that's the one thing at the Royals that, you know, we always try and put the team first. So whatever's best for the team against who we're playing, the conditions and all that sort of stuff, we weigh that up.